be buying a car. Everyone's like doing my skincare routine. So y'all ain't gonna see no slips. Hey, all of my life. Good morning. I don't know why, but I woke up this morning feeling a little bit creative. So I grabbed my tablet and I started working on a thumbnail. I'm basically an iPad kid. No, I'm just kidding. But it is a little bit therapeutic just to sit there and draw. Even if I'm not very good at it, I'm still practicing. Never let not being good at something hold you back because if it's something you enjoy, then enjoy it. Hey guys, so I'm about to get ready for my day. I have a lot to do today. In my last video, I did mention that I've been a little sick and I have. I'm just gonna wash my face. I just think it'll make me feel better, wake me up a little bit. Then I'm gonna head in there, do something to this hair and probably a little bit of light makeup. I have a few videos I gotta film today. And then also I need to go to the store and get some stuff for my throat cause I was kind of coughing all night. I did go to the doctor, so I'm safe to go out in public and everything. They said that I'm not content or sick like that. It's just a little bit of a cold and I should be getting over it now, but um, <coughs> sorry. But I do need to go pick up a prescription for the cough medicine they called in. Get some groceries because I haven't even got groceries in a minute. I really need to stock up. I really wanna do some meal prep. I don't know about that, but we'll see. Another thing I want that it's been a minute since I've had is some coffee, like a Starbucks or a Scooter, something like that. I just need some coffee. I feel like it'll wake me up. I can get some stuff done today. And it gives me an excuse to leave the house other than grocery shopping. I love filming my skincare. I know that that's kind of like a trope here on YouTube, everyone's like doing my skincare routine or whatever is not necessarily a routine for me But when I'm filming it is which I think is a good thing You guys hold me accountable for taking care of my skin some days. I just I'm slacking But I turn on that camera. I'm like, you know what? Why don't we do some skincare? I love that you guys keep me accountable I would like to take just a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Whatnot. Whatnot is an app where you can shop for thrifted or new clothing through live stream. And everything is pretty much done at an auction. I recently went on Whatnot and purchased a few pieces. Now the first time I tried the auction, things were moving a little too fast for me and I could not find out how to bid. 2X, 3X, rented for only a dollar. a bid on this one. Oh, crazy. It's going up so fast. Wow, congratulations, Laura. Nice that went so quick. We so I obviously did not win that auction. Yeah, it was a little embarrassing, but the next piece I was interested in, I did figure out how to place a bid. I don't know if I should run these guys, size 2X, 3X, knit joggers. I want those. So only one person wants it. Run. Okay, so guys, I am gonna start it at 20 because there is only two people that want it. So I'm starting at 20 and then- I'm excited. The other person may outbid me though. We'll see. This is also brand new with tag guys. These retail for $88. I'm only starting it for 20. Bid. I bid 21. Wow, only $21 guys. These are retail for $88. This is I'm winning. Size 2X, 3X. Four seconds left. And I actually ended up winning that auction. Oh, I won! Wow, congratulations on that, that is insane. If you love shopping and you wanna get things at a discount, then I definitely recommend Whatnot. Most of the sellers on there either sell thrifted, vintage, or they sell modern, trendy brands like Skims, Free People, and usually you can snag it at a discounted price, which is my favorite part because I love saving money. For example, I found this Skims bodysuit and I've never purchased anything from Skims because it's so expensive. But the retail price of this bodysuit is $62 and I won it at auction for only $29. And another plus, this was brand new and has never been worn. So it's like I ordered it from the website new, but I got it at such a discounted rate. Same with these Skims Teddy Joggers that I got for only $40 when they retail for $88. That's over half off. Not to mention, these are literally so cozy. They have pockets with zippers. They're the perfect pair of pants. Another thing I thought I would struggle with on Whatnot is finding plus size clothes, but I was 100% wrong. There are live streams dedicated solely 
to plus size clothing. So I got this plus size Old Navy flannel for only $8 out of a plus size live stream. And if you find a seller that sells clothes that you really love and your size, then usually you can bundle and save a little bit of money on shipping, which is an awesome feature because like I said, who doesn't love saving money? And I also found these plus size skims knit joggers. Yes, I went a little overboard with the skims, but like I said, I could never afford it before, but these were only $21 and they retail for 88. And the last thing I got was this Good American one piece swimsuit that retails for $85 and I only paid 21 for it. It was brand new with the tags, never worn. I could not wait for the summertime to wear this. It was just such a good deal. I had to snag it. I also hosted my very first live stream on the app and it was so fun, so interactive. I got to talk to tons of you guys. Some of you guys even bought some of my clothes. This was how many orders I had. So if you're thinking about selling your clothes, I highly recommend doing your closet clean out with whatnot because it gets rid of all of them in just a 30 minute live stream. If you're interested in shopping on whatnot, definitely use my link down below and you'll get $10 in shopping credit off your first order. Also, feel free to follow me on whatnot. I will probably be hosting some more live shows soon. And thank you again to whatnot for sponsoring today's video. Ooh, that's bright. And also a miniature life update. As you guys know, this is my first week. Well, if you don't, this is my first week of being a full-time YouTuber content creator. <coughs> And I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it has been stressful. I feel like everything that could go wrong has went wrong. So first of all, I've been sick. That speaks for itself. Couldn't get all the work that I overbooked myself done. Two, I overbooked myself. I just wasn't really thinking about the fact that anything can come up and I've been so sick that it's just been hard for me to do all the work that I need to do. I overbooked myself when it comes to posting videos or working with brands. And that's fine and all. I think I could have done it had I not got sick, which kind of just ruined my whole experience. Not only did I have a bunch of stuff booked for myself, I got sick so I couldn't do nothing. And then not only that, a place that I highly depend on a check from I forgot to claim the check basically because you have to claim it once a month and I missed out on pretty much half my income for the month because I forgot to claim it so that's great I just feel like it's been one thing after the other hopefully things will be better next month January has just not been my month but I'm not complaining I'm doing what I love I have really been enjoying focusing most of my energy on full-length YouTube videos that's that's why I haven't been posting as many shorts, which I've also been kind of getting down about or beating myself up about. I haven't posted a bunch of YouTube shorts lately or Instagram reels or any of that, but it's okay. I'm doing other things. I'm focusing on these full length videos because honestly, I enjoy editing these so much more. I got just kind of burnt out of posting short form content just because I've been doing it for what, like two years now consistently or almost two years now. I know you guys still want to see shorts for me and they're coming soon. I just got to figure out what I'm doing basically. Hello, random bobby pin in my hair. And it's also really hard to make time for just things that I love, like spending time with my husband or hanging out with friends or family. So many people are like, why don't you text me back? And I'm like, I didn't even see your text or I saw it and I mentally replied, but I forgot to press send. And you guys know, I try not to let my comment section get me down. But one thing that's super annoying is that a nighttime routine of me and Kevin recently has been blowing up a lot more on my Instagram reels. And so many of the troll guys, you know, it's always guys mostly. But earlier I did see a woman on my Facebook page calling me a pig. And it's really upsetting because she's such a beautiful woman. She just must be very insecure. But anyways, on that video, so many people are like, he does the chores and he works. What do you do? I stretch 24 7 because of what I do actually. I have a job I may say like stay at home wife on a video, but trust me I work just because there's one chore I don't like to do doesn't mean that I'm a bad wife My husband still has to help out around the house I try to make it easier on him because his job is a lot of hard labor I'm just putting random twists in my hair and I feel like this is not gonna be cute I 
Okay, there we go. It's just some bigger twist for today. I'm gonna touch up the edges and everything like that and I'll be back. Oopsie. So I have more of an idea of what we're gonna be doing today. I just got, I don't know why my camera is so zoomed in. I'm so sorry. Also, I took down those twists because I hated them. I'm about to film an outfit video that I have to do for a sponsorship and work on a few things for work. But me and Kevin agreed to have lunch together. So when I go down there, I will see him. We're gonna eat at Jimmy John's. I love Jimmy John's and I love that they have those lettuce wrap sandwiches because bread is just too bready for me sometimes, if that makes sense. Their lettuce wrap sandwiches are so freaking good. My obsession with Jimmy John's lettuce wrap sandwiches is crazy. Another thing I love from them is their cookies, but they always make me sick, so I'm not gonna be getting a cookie today. But I am getting some of those barbecue chips. Anyways, I'm gonna go work on a few things for work, and I guess I'll see you guys after that. The boob pool. Okay, I just finished up filming some stuff, uh, finishing up with work. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up all of these ring lights and all of that, probably make my bed. Kevin's lunch starts in like 30 minutes, then I'm gonna have to hurry up and get dressed and walk out the door. Cause this outfit that I'm wearing right now is not it. <laughs> I'm gonna wear these jeans that I just wore for that video because I love them. It's okay, I'm wearing shapewear under this. I put on my Yitty set so y'all ain't gonna see no slips. I love these jeans. I'm gonna call my aunt because she told me she's been interested in buying a car and so am I. And I'm gonna see if she wants to go today and look at cars. Your call has been forwarded to an automated- That hoe did not answer the phone. Actually, I changed my mind. I want to wear something comfortable and these jeans are not the most comfortable, especially with this shapewear underneath. I'm actually about to take it off and just put on some cozy clothes. I'll let you guys know what I decide to wear. Fit check because I've definitely been over wearing this outfit lately, but I really don't care because it's cozy and this is what I'm wearing. I'm still getting over the sickness, so I'm allowed to dress lazy. Currently heading to Kevin's job to pick him up for lunch. He said he goes at 11.30, it's 11.15. I should have time, it's about 15 minutes away. Super crazy update. So Kevin's work got so crazy that he still hasn't had a chance to go to lunch. It's 12.12 right now. And while I was waiting for him, I talked to my aunt and I told her about, you know, looking at cars and she really didn't want to go, but I talked her into it. I may have bribed my way in, but I, I did it. But we have to go as soon as possible. So I'm ordering Jimmy John's on my phone right now. And then I'm going to go and pick it up and I'm going to drop off Kevin's lunch at his job. So he'll have something to eat, obviously. And then I'm going to say bye, love you, because we won't have a chance to eat together. And then we're going to head down to look at cars because there's one that I found that I really like. First, let's order this Jimmy John's. And I'm getting spicy East Coast Italian, unwitch style. And then for my side, I'm gonna get the barbecue chip. And for my drink, we doing a Diet Coke. They don't have Diet Dr. Pepper. I don't know what's the difference between Diet Coke and Coke Zero, but everyone says that there is a difference. Bacon, ham, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise. And then we're gonna make Kevin's a combo. And and you already know he's gonna do the salt and vinegar chips and a Coke. Let's go get the food. Did you want to drink a couple of these? Uh, no, it's fine. Well, actually, yes. Can I have one? Can I'm sorry. Y'all, oh, this pickle is bussin'. I used to hate Jimmy John's pickles, but this pickle is so good. Dropping off his food. Hey, y'all, love my wife. You gonna enjoy that lunch? Oh, look at this. Oh, I got you the salt and vinegar. Jimmy, what you got, got my Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, I need Jimmy John. I'm eating a pickle. Bye, love you. Mm. Just dropped a freaking pickle and a freaking tomato out of my sandwich. It's like a handheld salad. Oh, sorry, I was talking to my camera. What the fuck are you telling me that for? Because I love you. Oh, we buying a car. Say hey to the vlog. 
Robin helped me. Oh, yeah, this is your car. Also, nice to look at the check. So, I'm obviously still sick. Can we not do that? Little life updates since I kind of just stopped filming in the middle of me potentially buying a car. Also, if you can't tell, I am in my new car. So I did get a new car. <laughs> we got a new car. Yeah, because you got the, the old one. You got a new car too. Yeah. This is not new news. It caught my eye. It's exactly what I wanted. It's perfect. I'm in love. But the reason I didn't really vlog the rest of the day is because a lot of stuff came up. Okay. Sorry, I got a phone call and I'm also filming on my phone. So, Kevin's gonna explain what happened when he got home. She didn't know everything was going good. She was telling me she'd get in a new car. Now, I came home, right? Went to the back door. Usually, Stormy started barking in excitement, started running around. She's home alone for a while. She came like walking towards me slowly. And that's automatically a red flag because she don't usually do that. So I went in the kitchen, diarrhea everywhere. Well, I'm being dramatic, but like there was some diarrhea everywhere. Pee everywhere too. Like, so her walking towards me slowly, having no energy, plus the urine and poop everywhere. That's really weird because she don't really do that. Even when I look in her eyes or her face, she looks sad or whatever. Put on the couch, just laying there looking sick. I was worried, so that's when I called her. Came home and I told my cousin and she gave me the number to a vet and we rushed to the vet. And mind you, this was 5.30, so most vets were closing at this time. So we called a vet and they were like, it's going to be $500 alone just to be seen since this is after hours plus the price of whatever they have to do. But I was like, I don't care. Like, she's acting so weird she's a daughter too so like come on now i don't want to lose her i was freaking out i was nervous and i didn't know what to do and i just rushed to this doctor without even looking at reviews or anything like that they were the only ones i guess that were open imagine if your child is sick you're gonna call the first person that you come in contact with if you think that they could do something to help her she didn't even run to the door when i got home and that's very not normal of her when we were on the way to the doctor she tried to like throw up but she couldn't and also she's acting like in pain when we tried to grab her and she was shaking really bad and they said since we came before six because we was rushing since we got there before six we didn't have to pay the 500 dollars service fee we just paid like the normal checkup fee but they did an exam on her and they didn't find anything so they were like we can run some blood they ran her blood and didn't really find much they said something about her blood cells being low so they gave her some antibiotics and we paid 550 dollars basically to be told i don't really know what's wrong with her but here try this yeah basically we pay that much money for the, the medicine did give her some fluids under her skin oh, yeah, yeah. and they told us it was three hundred dollars just to do her blood test i went home feeling kind of unsatisfied because yeah. she was still really sick i ain't trying to disrespect their jobs or anything but i was hoping for more yeah especially for the price here in alabama that's basically a month's rent let's listen to what they were saying the next day she still wasn't better and we noticed she had like a huge lump on her stomach that they didn't even address we noticed it when we were leaving the vet and we were like hey what is this they were like oh it's because she's not fixed acting like it was no big concern i texted them later and i told them and they were like oh this is what the vet said it's actual person texting you back yeah so okay. she finally started to eat a little bit not much has a little bit more energy now but she's still very low energy i want to go and get a second opinion but this is only two days later this place definitely overcharged me also i checked the reviews online they had two stars highly disappointed that i didn't check that before i went everyone who left reviews said that they'll rob you for your money they and said take that for real yeah they said that they'll rob you for your money and take advantage of your position is basically what they no said fucking Way. yes that's what they said that's what the doctor was doing i don't know but i mean that's how it seems yeah. even the freaking tech when we were checking out i said oh well if she does need to get fixed how much would that be and i think they said like four hundred dollars but you can she, go somewhere yeah, else she did say she, yeah, she, go somewhere said, else. she said you could go somewhere and it'll be a lot cheaper other than that kevin also got sick last night he started running a fever of about 99.5 wednesday of this week i called in because she felt bad so i took her to the doctor they basically told me i had a cold i still feel fine i say Thursday, I maybe I was coughing a little bit. And then on Friday, I was coughing a good bit, but I still feel okay. Sunday, I still went to work because I had to, but the whole day I was just that's so terrible. I'm good now. Just left the car dealership. I fully paid off my car, so I am driving a 2023 Nissan Kicks. Is that what it is? Yeah, Nissan Kicks, and it is fully paid off. 
I'm so proud of myself. I don't even say that I'm like proud of myself a lot. People around me are like, wow, such a big accomplishment. But I'm kind of like, yeah, there's always more I could be doing. Now I will admit like I'm genuinely proud of myself. I never thought I'd be going into this year with a brand new car mm -hmm. fully paid off by myself with no help. That's actually a crazy thing, but go poop. Bye y'all, love you. Stormy is running outside after me. I never thought I would be so happy. Stormy! Stormy! <gasps> Stormy! So, so we're at the house like this? Yes! Uh, oh my gosh! Look at her! Oh my gosh, you're doing so good. She no, just she, ran she, out the today house. Today she's doing better than yes. yesterday. She just ran it out the house waiting for me. Tell by her face she's not fully recovered. Like she didn't even like bark or anything. Like, yeah, but I'm so proud of you, Stormy. You look so good. You're doing better. She's like, where are you going, Dad? But y'all should have seen her yesterday. She literally sat in the same position all day. She didn't eat. She drank a little bit. She didn't go to the restroom. She didn't do anything all day until probably about 7 p.m. She just sat in the couch looking around in the same position all day. I have her sitting in the seat. She's comfy. <laughs> Anyways, this car is pretty much all I asked for. I wanted a black interior. I love the orange stitching. It just adds a little pop of color to it. It's just very me. I have a push to start, which is one thing I was like, I really want a push to start. That's so specific that if I find a car I like and it doesn't have it, I'll get it. But the fact that it actually does have push to start, push to start, I couldn't have asked for a more perfect car. I wanted an SUV, but not one that's too big. This is the perfect size. It's like a mini SUV. Everything inside looks so modern. I mean, it is a 2023 but i've never had a new car in my whole life not even three years ago i bought a year 2000 car and this was like 2018 so it was two decades old and it was just a tiny little car that i bought on facebook marketplace for like 1500 dollars. i went to dollar tree and got some stuff to spruce it up add a little something here and there everyone that i worked with had nice cars at the time and i was embarrassed when i pulled into the parking lot in that car but you know what i bought it myself i was proud of myself at that time and now i'm proud of myself now I just never thought I could see myself now having a new car that I bought myself. I just can't believe it. The car that I'm referring to, the year 2000 car, I didn't even have it very long. Kevin got in an accident. It really wasn't his fault, but it was ruled his fault because of how the accident happened. So that car was totaled and I got like basically scammed by a car lot. That made me way overpay for a car on a car payment because I was stuck in the position with no credit and basically my car totaled. So it was a Honda and the key started messing up. So I went to go get a new key made and the people at Honda who made the key crashed the car literally wrecked into it lost all my money on it but you know what it got paid off by the insurance like I didn't get any money but the company that I bought the car from that was basically scamming me they got the money for that from the insurance I've been through so much when it comes to cars so blessed to be where I am now the fact that I'm the only owner who has ever owned this car is mind-blowing to me we may have been going through a lot the past few days but me and my family we're happy I'm just petting my baby stormy over here but that's just pretty much an update of how life has been going everything has been crazy but I wouldn't have it any other way I love my life I love my family I mean I wouldn't ha I would have it another way I would love for my dog to be fully healthy but I trust that she's gonna get there I trust that she's gonna be better soon and I can only hope keep stormy in your thoughts and good vibes this way and that is episode two of getting my life together I love you guys and comment down below if you're loving this series use the comment section as a diary and tell me how your life is going i'll talk to y'all later bye i love you mm -hmm.